Welcome back. Miss Earth South Africa is on a mission to develop young environmentalists to become more active in understanding the eco challenges we face. The organization has always been at the forefront of highlighting issues around climate change, sustainability and how to save the planet. Now it wants to share that same passion with the younger generation. Joining me now for more on this uh, is Miss Earth South Africa Director Catherine Constantinidis. Catherine, welcome to Newsnight. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's my absolute pleasure. So people sometimes have this opinion on, on pageants in South Africa that they don't really understand the need or requirement for it and they feel as if pageants could sometimes objectify women. Just talk to us about a platform like Miss Earth and how it's breaking those, those stereotypes. I think it's such an important question because that's something that comes to mind to many people when they hear Miss something. Yeah. This is a leadership program for young women and an opportunity and platform to get young women to become young role models in their very communities. Mm -hmm. So it's getting young women to decide they'd like to apply to this program and give a few months of their year to the program, but ultimately to their community. We empower those young women with education, knowledge, awareness on the many climate and environmental issues we face. And in turn, they give service to their communities and go back into their communities to educate children, communities, and to actively engage in programs and projects on the ground. Mm -hmm. And are you finding that these women have a genuine interest in sustainability and the eco challenges that the, the earth is facing? I think that is an absolutely, um, we see that now more than ever before. When we started, and this organization really is excited to celebrate 20 years, I can't oh my believe gosh, it, I 20 saw that. years. And I think back, and I think back to the young woman that started entering, when environmental issues were not even something that was part of the agenda. The word climate change or then global warming was something that existed in another world. It was a northern hemisphere challenge. It was a western world challenge. And it wasn't something we were focused on. Now we have young women who are part of this program and are exceptionally involved and committed. And then you have young women who are studying and change their course of studies because of the impact of this program. Amazing. So, so what type of young woman is the perfect candidate to enter a platform like this. When you are judging these ladies, what are you looking for? Ultimately, Miss Earth South Africa is a young woman who is all-rounded. She has strong opinions. She knows how to not only hold her ground, but to be able to sit and listen to opinions that differ from her own. She's somebody that in the morning can be planting trees or planting a food garden with the community. And by the afternoon, she can be speaking on a panel discussion. And that night, she can be sitting next to a minister, really questioning and interrogating certain things that we need um, change within legislation from an environmental and climate perspective. Mm. We're looking for a young woman who can be a role model to South Africans all over the country and a young woman who will hold our flag up high when she represents us internationally as well. Wow, it's a, it's a huge shoes to fill, someone who definitely needs to know who they are and what they stand for. But once you are crowned then, Miss Earth, um, what sort of um, programs and projects do you then work, work on? What sort of work do you do within the community? So a lot of the programs and projects that you do as Miss Earth South Africa, you will start to do as a delegate of the program. And that is to introduce young women to all sorts of things from environmental programs such as tree plantings. We'll be planting trees on the 5th of June. They will be engaging with different organizations, corporate brands. They will be doing projects that relate directly to sustainability, ocean preservation, waste management, looking at recycling, looking at the waste management system at large, looking at how food security impacts South Africans in all corners and spheres, and working closely with our partners. Many of the partners, you know, we recently launched a project specifically with Southern Sun as we move into the 2023 year and we look back at what we have achieved as an organization and it is all possible because of the energy and passion of the young women that are part of this program. It's beautiful to hear. Do you have government on board? Is government assisting? You know, government has always been a great supporter of the work. We'd like them to be more actively involved. And, you know, from a resource <laughs> perspective, we need them to be more involved. Yes. And I think it's really important because from a local and municipality level, these young women really tackle the challenges of their communities. So there's a great opportunity for government to be more involved. And I think the climate crisis we face as South Africans is more pertinent now than ever, ever. before. Yeah. You were speaking about the droughts in the Eastern Cape not so long ago. Mm 
And I think that if we actually understand our connection as South Africans and citizens right down to the environmental challenges we are faced with, we will understand that actually everyone needs to be an Earth Warrior. Definitely. So is the platform open for entries yet? What is the, the plan and the rollout for this year? Absolutely. Entries are open. Amazing. And um, young women from the age of 18 to 28 are welcome to enter. However, if you're 18 and you're watching, we ask that you have a metric certificate and you finished metric okay. because we want young women who have finished their schooling and are out of the school space. Mm -hmm. But young women can go to Miss Earth underscore SA on Instagram. They'll find us there. And there is a info line on WhatsApp. If you send your name, your email address, a WhatsApp will, uh, you know, an email will be sent to you with the entries, Perfect. and that's 082 5050 But log on to our Facebook page or Instagram page, and you'll be able to find the details there. Amazing. So, is it a conventional pageant in the sense where there is a queen, a Miss Earth, and then a runner up and a second runner up? Does it work in that conventional way? So there are four ambassadors, Miss okay. Earth, and her runners-up are air, water, and fire. They each represent one of the elements, yes. and many of those focus projects are specific to water, to uh, renewable energies, to solar power, and etc. But the program runs with the four ambassadors and we use the young woman as part of the program. We always say once a Miss Earth, always a Miss Earth. If you've been a part of the program and you're able to continue doing environmental activism and work on the ground in your community, we will continue to support you and to assist you with our platform because ultimately we're trying to build young leaders and women who become role models within our society, mm. go out and do work of impact. We're not looking for somebody who is a perfect model, a perfect pageant girl. This is a program of impact. We're looking for South African role models and young women who have a voice and are able to be not only a brand ambassador for us, for our partners, to but honestly stand up and be a proud voice for environmental issues, not only in South Africa, but across our continents as well. So there's no restrictions then, because so often beauty pageants have certain restrictions mm -hmm. with regards to height or weight, perhaps, or any of those sort of things. No. Are you guys completely open to embracing all shapes, sizes of women in South Africa? All shapes and sizes. Height is not an issue. For us, it's ultimately your intention. It is what you want to take out of this program. Uh, you know, what you put in is what you'll take out. It's your energy, it's your focus. And it's what you want to champion. Mm -hmm. So, you know, waste is an important topic, very unsexy. Over the last <laughs> five to eight years, we have championed waste as a focus area. And we will continue to do that alongside other really important um, kind of pillars under the climate and environmental you know, banner. But, for example, fashion. Fashion contributes to waste the world over in a significant way. We want our young ambassador to be able to have many opportunities to talk on several different issues, especially the unsexy topics like waste, because she will be given a platform where people will listen. Yeah, definitely. And will she represent us internationally? How does it work? She will. Okay. So she will represent us internationally. Because we don't have the exact height framework, you know, we're not looking for a specific body type. We send our ambassador proudly to the international event and there is no doubt there has never been a year where the South African delegate does not show off her environmental passion, the work that is done here in South Africa, and she does us proud every single year. This year the international event will be hosted in Vietnam at the end of the year, November, December, and it will be an honor for us to have our delegate on that stage where she will be able to take our programs, our projects, and the work of the organization to an international platform yeah, and, showcase and showcase that. Amazing. So, Catherine, it's been 20 years of Miss Earth South Africa. I can't believe that time has just passed no. us by so quickly. <laughs> How has the pageant evolved over the last two decades? The, the evolution of this program has been extensive. You know, we started off literally as young girls. Ella and I really wanted to build something that would become a global f blueprint of what is possible. How do we take a traditional pageant and make it something that is far greater than just that? And I think it's taken a lot of hard work. Alongside that journey has been one where we've worked in a community and society where environmental issues were not an issue of focus. As South Africans, we have extensive social issues that we need to be tackling. And so it has been always 
a journey of how do we connect the social issues to the climate issues? How do we work on climate justice and social justice as we move forward and build a program that really empowers young women? Our aim has always been to make sure that young women leave the program, if they win or not, they leave the program taking something significant with them and the ability to really implement change in their yeah. communities and corners. Yeah. Well, Catherine, it's, it's always been a platform that I've admired because of the amazing work that you guys do and the Thank amazing you. earth warriors that you uh, create and, and the, uh, the morals and ethics and aspirations that you instill in these young women. It's been beautiful to see. So continue thank with the you. beautiful work. And thank you very much for joining us here. on. Thank Newsnight. you so much. We appreciate your time. That was Miss Earth South Africa Director Catherine Constantinidis just talking to us about the Miss Earth South Africa platform. And entries are open, so head over to the website or their social media pages if this is something that you are interested in.